In this tutorial, I'll take a question from 2023 IGCSE Accounting Pass Paper. I'll show here how you should answer in your exam. So here, let us have a look at the format. Here we say total receipt column, okay? So balance VD, and if you have any refund, if you have any receipt, then it will appear here, okay? Then it is date, date for payment, and receipt, both will enter here in this column, okay? And the detail column, we have to record all the transactions, okay? Then here total paid, and these three columns are analysis column. These three columns depend on the transactions. If you have many transactions, many accounting heads, then we have to make many accounts here, okay? So here we see this format given in the question. So we make it exactly as the question, okay? So here now, before we start here writing, let us have a look at the question. Shaban maintains a pretty cash book using the impress system. The impressed amount which is to $200 is restored every Wednesday. Okay. All payments of less than 75 were made from the petty cash book. All cash receipts less than 75 are paid into petty cash. Okay. On 1st March 2023, Shavan had $61 in his petty cash box. He provided the following information for the first week in March 2023. So here we see some transactions and it is required on the question. Prepare Shaban's petty cash book for the first week of March 2023. Balance the petty cash book at 7th March 2023 and bring down the balance at 8th March 2023. Okay. So this PT cash book is for one week, okay? That means Shaban, this business, they make PT cash book week by week, okay? Every week. And here the balance, the PT cash balance is given on the question, it is $61. And the impressed amount is here also given $200, okay? That means every month Shaban gets $200 PT cash as an impressed amount and he spent all his expenses less than $75, okay? So, if he has expense less than $75, he considers this expense as a petty cash expense. So, he records here in this book, okay? On 1st March 2023, opening balance is given. It is $61. So, let us write here the date first. 2023, here it is March 1, okay? We will write here balance bd bd stands for balance brought down okay so this is our opening balance and we will write here on the receipt column 61 dollar okay now what to do now we need to record all the transitions given on the question one by one okay so we will record the detail columns and we will write the amounts also, the, the money given with the transitions and will be written here on the total paid column. Then we will split all the amounts among these three columns, okay, three analysis columns. So let us write the transition first. March to paid to Charles a trade payable. So here $55. Then we have March 3 paid taxi fare it is 21 dollar then we have here march 6 paid for notepads and so here it is 18 dollars then we have here again march 6 received from michelle Mitchell. so here we will write the money later okay the next one he is here seven paid for office cleaning it is here 30 dollars okay so here we recorded all the transitions okay great so here number six received from michelle it is not written here okay so this amount will not come here on the total paid column okay this amount will appear on the receipt column okay because it is received it is not paid it is not an expense it is an income okay with the pd cash transitions is there any receipt then you don't write here on the payment column on the analysis columns okay 
you will write here on the receipt column okay so here how much was the number six transition so here it is 25 dollar we will write on the receipt column okay so great so you see here and the question march first restored pretty cash impressed from the business bank account okay so march first we did not write here it was balance it was opening balance we wrote 61 dollar but march first first this transition we did not write so here the pt cash restored okay how much restored it is not mentioned clearly now it is a confusion for many of students you ignore this transition or you don't write you will start from here and you end from end here okay you make balance after recording this transition but it is not correct you have to write something here okay restored how much restored is not mentioned but you know there is the impressed amount it is 200 dollar okay so from this 200 dollar shavan already already ha has balance okay opening balance he has already 61 dollar he could not spend this money okay it is left so how much will be the remaining amount remaining account amount will be here 139 dollar right if we subtract the 61 dollar okay so once again his impressed amount is 200 dollar that means he received every week 200 dollar and last week he has 61 dollar left out amount okay so this is his balance opening balance that means how much he spent last week last week he spent 139 dollar this 139 dollar he will restore through the bank okay this written bank so we will write here march first we will write here bank okay so it is also received it received uh, by the showbun okay from the business okay so he will not write here in this in this column total paid column he received this amount so it will be written here on the total received column okay so don't forget how we calculated this transition you need to understand okay so if you get this type of transitions on the question in the exam so you do not make mistake okay you write correctly okay great now we recorded all the transitions we will spread out i told you we will spread out these amounts among these analysis columns okay so here first of all is paid to jones a trade payable though it is less than 75 but it is not actually expense related transition okay this is not nominal account okay so trade papers if you see any asset liability or any names of the supplier you do not write as an expense okay you will put this money on the leisure account column okay so here the 55 dollar we will write on the leisure account okay once again then pay taxi fare it is very simple to understand taxi fare is travel expense right so we will take this amount and we will write here on the travel expense column okay great then we have here paid for note notepads and pens okay what is this expense this is office expense right so we will write this amount here on the office expense column okay we'll copy and we'll paste here okay great then here uh, number six we wrote already already 25 on the receipt column as it is a receipt then here number seven the last transition paid for office cleaning it is 30 dollar okay why to write this amount it is it is not travel column not leisure account column it will appear here on the office expense column yeah it is office cleaning so it is an office expense so let us write here 30 dollar okay great so we recorded all the transitions when we spread out the amount we wrote everything here now it is a, it is a requirement on the question you need to balance it and after that you need to bring down the balance on 8 of march 8 of march okay you need to bring down so before that we need to balance so how to balance it okay so first of all we need to sum up these all columns okay so let us sum up first okay so here from here we closed all these columns okay that the, the amount columns here so let us sum up the last column is here 20 uh, 55 to leisure column so our total is here 55 here only one amount 21 so it is 21 okay the total so here we have 50 uh, 30 dollar and we have here 18 so our totals here 48 Okay, great then here we have 
55 plus 21 plus 18 plus 30, okay? What we get if we sum up? We get here 124, okay? This is the totals of this total paid column, okay? Great. Now, we need to sum up this total received column, okay? So here 61, here 139 plus 25. So we get here 225, okay? So we will take this total to the opposite column, okay? Means total paid column, okay? So we have to maintain the level. We'll come on the same level here, 225, okay? Now what to do? Now we will subtract this amount from this total, okay? 225. So here if we subtract, we get here 101, okay? Simple calculation. So uh, 225 minus 124 equal to 101. So what is this amount? This is the closing amount, okay? At the end of the week. So we will write here balance, carry down balance CD, okay? Great. So what is the date for balance CD? It is mentioned in the question, it will be the last day of the week that means it will be here March 7 okay don't forget balance CD will be above the total okay and then and on the question it is also a requirement that we need to bring down the balance okay how to bring down this is also complicated to many students okay so here we wrote balance BD balance CD sorry on 7th of March and balance BD means opening balance for next week will be 8th of March yeah so we will write here 8 March 8 we will write balance BD BD stands for balance brought down okay so we will not write the money here okay this will not come here okay this will come here on the total receipt column okay so which amount will write we will write this amount 101 okay balance CD so let us write here 101 okay Many of you write here balance PD here on the total paid column, but it is wrong. You need to write here on the total receipt column, okay? So next tutorial will be very important because in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to prepare a ledger for a trade payable, okay? Here we have Charles. We I'll show you how to prepare Charles account, okay? In the Shaban box of account.